Hello everybody! Today's quick tip is going to be about how to slowly get your dog comfortable with using the clippers. So stay tuned! Depending on the breed of your dog and your styling choices, you may or may not need to bring out the electric clippers. For Dexter, he's a cavalier, a very furry cavalier, whose actual breed standard is to be furry and long. So breed-wise, they're not really meant to be groomed with clippers besides the bottoms of their feet. Whether or not you're using the electric clippers or scissors, the bottoms of their feet and their pads do need to be hair free so they're not slipping on those slippers. But for Dexter, with his neurological condition, he does not enjoy lots of brushing and his coat is really big and thick. So I do clip him. I clip his belly. I clip some of these feathers because they are very long. I clip underneath his ears to lighten, lighten them up. And we do actually have the groomer do his Fu Manchus, the hair that comes out here. I do have her cut them short. And then he's got big feathers on his tail. And well, let's just say sometimes he likes to poop on his tail feathers if they're not trimmed. So he's definitely a dog that I do bust out the clippers for and do some light trimming to help keep him comfortable and happy. Um, and so he doesn't have to be brushed as much because I think that triggers his neurological condition and it's uncomfortable and a little painful for too much grooming and brushing. So the first thing we need to do, and what I started to do with Dexter ever since he's been a, a youngster, is getting him used to different things like different being held, touching, different noises, and one of those noises is the clippers. So if I can get Dexter's assistance, Dexter, come here. <laughs> so treat, again wherever the treat goes he's gonna follow so if i want him this way for the video i just move this treat around so for the youngsters what i start doing first is just letting them see what it is so i see this yes good job and my yes tells them they've done it right and it's going to be followed by a reward yes good job so i don't want them to think that things that are new are going to be scary i want the opposite things that are new yes predict good things good job okay so I might need to do that for a couple of days maybe right away we get to go to the next lesson it depends on your dog their and their comfort level so if they're totally afraid of this then just bring it out and have it be part of their environment supervise so that they're not chewing it but it's just part of everything so once they're comfortable with this being out and around and moving around Yes, good job. We can start thinking about their face because if I do have a dog that's going to have their face trimmed, these things, when they're on, need to be going to their face. So I need to make sure that we're comfortable with this thing coming in. So off, we're going to go yes to the side. So yes, again, marks that behavior. You've done it right. It's followed by the food reward. So this Yes, is good. Moving it around above his face, next to his face. I want to make sure we're totally happy and comfortable with that. Yes, good job. The next thing I can think about during my training sessions is actually holding his face because myself or the groomer is going to need to hold that face while those clippers go next to them. So I might, yes, good job. Again, holding your face, good thing. And I'm not squeezing hard, I'm just holding it. It's not a punishment, I'm not shutting his mouth closed. I'm holding his mouth, gently. Then the next thing is we need to do those clippers. We need to get those clippers part of the routine. The noise you hear, if you hear any noise, is my weed whacker neighbor, not, not these clippers. So, clippers off. We'll give you that treat because it's in my hand, right? So we're going to hold that face, clippers off. Good boy. And again, I'm not clipping. I'm just getting that movement next to that face. Yes, good boy. All right, good job. Then the next thing I think about is, well, let's get him used to that noise. So I don't want to take that noise and go to your face. I want to do it over here. 
Yes, good job. So I'm conditioning Dexter that when this is on, yes is going to happen, followed by a food reward. And as they continue to get comfortable, then you can continue to start getting closer. So you pretend. Yes! And then yes and treat. And if you're going to end up doing your dog, do a little bit at the time. Do maybe his front feet first. And then again, a little clipping, yes, and then food treat. It's even easier if you have a second person that can actually feed your dog during the process. Have them also hold the dog to be comfortable in a nice, calm, soft way so they're not freaked out. If you're not clipping your dog at home and they're going to the groomer and you're slowly getting them comfortable with it, they're going to be a breeze at the groomer and it's going to be less stressful for, for the dog. It's going to be less stressful for when you drop them off and they'll come back nicely groomed, happy, and you'll be happy that you actually spent the time getting your dog comfortable and happy around clippers so they'll be stress free. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe and don't forget to click the bell so that you can be notified of all new videos. And if you want to dive deeper into your dog's behavior, nutrition, and care, check out my Patreon community. The link is below. So until next time, remember to pause and enjoy life and we'll see you in the next video.